I'll now go through the answer of what happened here. So basically, um, down here we have a slate. This would have started off as something like a mudstone deposited underwater. Then we have this quartzite layer and that might, might have started off as like a sandstone with lots of quartz clasts in it. And then we have um, more mudstone on top of that. So that would have originally been deposited horizontally. And then we would have had um, compressional, that, that, that unit, those units would have been subjected to some compression, which would have caused this folding and the metamorphism of these rocks. So the mudstone would have transformed into the slate. The sandstone with quartz rich class would have transformed into the quartzite. Um, and yeah, so then we formed this. Then after that, we had this granite body, which intruded into these metamorphosed um, slates and quartzites. And so this granite, it doesn't really have, it has it doesn't have the same like folded fabric as this stuff. So we know that it must be younger than what it's intruding into. Um, then all of this would have been eroded to create this unconformity here. So this represents a gap in time where we have um, rocks being lost, lost from the geological record. Um, after that, we would have had the deposition of these um, like round clasts which form the conglomerate and the deposition of like calcium carbonate material which would have formed the limestone. Um, then all of this, you, you, you can see that all of this is, all of this stuff is tilted, right? So then what would have happened next is these sediments that were originally like horizontal would have been tilted like this, then um, it would have been eroded away to create another unconformity. So we have this surface where the tilt of the beds underneath it is different from above. So that's another time, uh, that's another place where we have sediments being lost from the geological record. And then we would have had um, um, sandstone being deposited on top and like the, the sand making up the sandstone would have been um, lithified <laughs> and then we had erosion. And the very final thing to have happened here is this basaltic intrusion which came up and cut through all of these layers. So this is the youngest unit here. So yeah, so that's the re relative um, sequence of events that happened here. And yeah, I just want to remind you again that th this is what geologists all around the world did to create that geological time scale that you've seen. It's, it's this process, looking at rocks all around the world, using cross-cutting relationships, um, and just basic knowledge about sedimentology to determine like what what are the youngest rocks in earth what are the oldest rocks what's like what what happened what's the story of what happened all throughout the history of the earth